In this video, I'm going to cover the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator CS6. It's the same pen tool that we've had in CS5, CS4, and so on. So if you want a less intense uh, version of this video, you can check out my older um, tutorials in Adobe Illustrator CS5, CS4, CS3, and so on. Um, this is CS6, so I'm going to show you a little bit more advanced way to use the pen tool while, while you can create correct the pen tool as you go. First of all, I'm going to go down the pen tool. Pen tool is, you can hit the P on your keyboard to jump the pen tool. Fifth tool down. If you click once, let go. Click again, let go. Click again, let go. Click again, let go. You'll see that it draws straight lines. So it draws straight lines really quickly, really easily. Um, I messed up right there. Drew, drew a curve line. So here's how you draw curve lines. I'm going to click once, let go, and then click again and drag. So click and drag with your mouse. So click and drag with your mouse. You might just want to practice a little bit before you get started on actually tracing an object. Click and drag with your mouse. You see that if you drag to the right, it draws your line to the right. It also creates these handles. These handles go away. So watch those those handles. I got three handles showing. That handle, these handles at the top disappeared, and this handle disappeared. So click and drag to the right. Your your line kind of goes to the right or curves to the right click and drag to the left, your line curves to the left. If you click and drag up, your line drags or curves up and down if you drag down. So if you want to delete that, hit delete twice on your keyboard, it'll delete the active selection and go back to the object you want to trace or draw. And so I'm going to draw this apple. Before I get started, I'm going to click on the direct selection tool and then I'm going to go back to my pen tool. I'll show you why I do that in a second. So direct selection tool, and then pen tool and now you're all set ready to go so click once let go come around your apple about a quarter of the way around and drag to create a new anchor point or new anchor point and new handles um, and you might even want to be zoomed in as you do this um, so I'm trying to line that curve up with my apple and it didn't quite get it not perfectly at least so I'm gonna hold down the command key and when I push the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC it turns my my pen tool into the direct selection tool so see how that does that that's by holding the command key down on a Mac or control key down on a PC and then you can click on, on these handles and move them around you can also click on the anchor point by holding down the command key well, as you do this so you gotta use two hands and you can tweak it and get it finessed um, where you want it to go okay so now I'm gonna click on the last point I just drew that last anchor point and it reactivates it now I'm gonna go down now I'm gonna go down to about a quarter way down my apple and drag click and drag to create the next anchor point and that anchor point pretty good I can hold down the command key and tweak it if I want and I can move my handles or move my anchor points around excuse me to um, tweak it further and um, you can click and activate the next anchor point and keep going same process click and drag if it ends up, lands nicely you don't have to worry about fixing anything you can just go about a quarter of the way around and fix the next one now I'll say a quarter it's not quite a quarter it's a little less than that um, the other option you have as well is you can push the option key down and it jumps to the convert anchor point tool so see my mouse change on that one so that one will allow you to adjust these handles as well with a little bit more precision than the direct selection tool so this is by holding the option key down option and drag so you can as you go along you can fix what you have messed up if you want to do this now in the past I've made videos where you actually just go ahead and go all the way around the object and I actually like to do that that way and then go back to the convert anchor point and other tools and fix it um, so you can use whichever method you feel most comfortable with that's the direct selection tool and I think that's good enough. Now you want to make sure you always go back to your original point. This is my starting point. Um, so I'll just click that to reactivate it. And then click on this last anchor point. As you see that little circle appears underneath your pen tool. You want to make sure you close your path. If you don't do that, I'm going to undo, edit undo, to show you what it does. If you don't do that, it's going to fill in your shape. Um, 
probably like you don't want it. So it's going to give a straight line. It's not going to have that curve to it. So you want to make sure you um, fill it in with that last shape by connecting this last point you drew with the very first point you drew and give it that little curve. And there's your apple shape drawn perfectly, hopefully, on the first time around. If you didn't get it right, you can always go back to the direct selection tool. You can always go back to the convert anchor point tool. Shift and C is the shortcut key for the convert anchor point tool. And you can go back and fix it. So direct selection tool, click once on an anchor point and click again. You can move it. And you can also grab these handles that you pulled out and you can move them around. There's that one. Probably won't be zoomed in when you do this. So you can get it nice and perfect. And be sure to turn off your photograph layer so you can actually get a look at how you did when you drew your illustration and make sure everything's how you want it. Because in the end, you're probably not going to show the photograph. In the end, you really want your illustration to be nice, accurate, and finessed.